everyone, I'm Mike. And I'm Adam. And today we're going to do some porters. Porters, my favorite style. I don't disagree. Porters and stouts. Porters and stouts. Yep. Slightly That's different cool. style from a stout. T tends to be a little thinner, but it's sure. still, still good though. Oh, very good. Absolutely. What are we starting off with? Oh, we are going to start off with Dry Dock. This is their Pirate's Pick um, Coconut Porter. Uh, porter brewed with coconut and natural flavors. Pretty straightforward. Out it is, yeah, it's out of Colorado. Uh, really like everything I've had from Dry Dock. So, looking forward to this. Five point four percent. We did, uh, we did the the hazy. Yeah, hazy from them. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah. All right, already. Nice color. Decent carbonation, not a ton, which is good. Light head. Coconut. Yeah, absolutely. Coconut. Yep. Uh, full disclosure, I am not a huge fan of coconut. I'm aware. It is a coconut nose. Mm. It's it's like suntan oil. I was just going to say the exact same <laughs> thing. That's exactly what it smells like. Mm. It's This is a powerful coconut. Overwhelming coconut. It's a, it's a heavy coconut presence, yes. Typically, you find coconut stouts, coconut porters, and it's not ratcheted down a little bit more mm -hmm. than this. This is the most coconut, I think. The most coconut. I just There's a little bit of roast in there. There is. There's yeah. a little bit of roast. I was waiting for you to get to the roastiness yeah, because I knew a, you'd like that. I, I do. I like that from the porter style. I'm I'm not being bothered by the coconut right now. I, I'm not a huge thing. coconut person either. No, mm -hmm. I, I'm the same, but... I think it's a nice, it's a good blend. It's a little bit much for me. It's a little bit much. Oh. It is thin. It's thin, like Porter's supposed to be. Yeah. A little thinner. Yeah. Nice dark color. It is, it is fairly smooth though. Mm. It's very nice. It as is. As far as the smoothness. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. How, how would you rate it? I would rate this probably at about, objectively, it's probably about a three and a half for me. Okay. I, I, I'm trying not to knock too much off of it for the coconut, but that's what it is. That's yeah. what it says it is, and that's what it is. I'm going to go higher than you, which that's, rarely that is happens. Rare, rarely happens. Uh, but not much. 3.75 out of mm -hmm. five. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, it's good. I would drink this again. If you like coconut, that's... That's where it's at. Even if you're so so on coconut, right? Like I am, it's fine. It it it's not bad. It really isn't. It goes down nice and smooth. Just a touch like of roast. It. Yeah. Nothing like our coffee ones. Mm -mm. Nothing nothing like that. Nope. But we weren't really expecting that. Were no, we today. Weren't. No, not today. Nope. Not for these. All right. What's up next? Pretty good. That's uh. This is uh, burial. Mm. I believe this is burial. There's a lot going on in this can. Yes. Uh, in keeping with our habitual grace out of burial, this is a collaboration with Keeping Together. Okay. It doesn't say what that is. No. Six and a half percent. Uh, I'm going to read you what's on here because there's some stuff. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, American porter with figs, raisins, cherries, walnuts, pecans, cocoa nibs, ginger, cardamom, and rhubarb. Rhubarb. There's some stuff going on here. Rhubarb, you say? Okay. There's some stuff going on with this one. This is going to have an interesting nose. Yes, yes it is. It, and you can tell right off the top when you pour it, yeah. it's not quite as dark as the uh, as the dry dock. Really? Okay, that's a... I got the raisins. Okay. I got the raisins right off the top there. No, I think it is as dark as the dry dock. I can't tell. But it is carbonated. Look yeah. It. Yeah, that's some carbonated. It definitely there. looks more carbonated than the dry dock. Yeah. Wow, there, there's a lot happening there. There is a lot happening in the nose there. You can see this. Really, you can really foam yourself, up a, foam yourself up ahead there. Are there figs? Did you say there were figs I in I think there? there are figs in there. Walnut. I'm getting a little bit of a walnut. Mm. A little bit of nuttiness, I'm not sure. I, I guess it would be the walnut. Oh, there's, oh, there's, 
that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot going on in there. I, I suggest you foam it up a little bit. Get you get you a good hit on there because you'll get some more. Wow, there is a lot. That is a there lot. is a lot to unpack in this. <clears throat> that's uh, I get the walnut we, in our Jackie O's. Jackie O's episode with the Oro Negro, it was finished with walnuts, and I didn't get right. a lot of walnut. I'm no. getting walnut in this. Yeah, I didn't either, but I'm I'm definitely getting a lot more nuttiness. I'm not a fan of rhubarb, but it's 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 there just a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's an accent. There's a little cherry sour, a little cherry sour that's there. It's not overly sweet, with all that's going on in there. I don't find it at all sweet, to yeah, be honest with you. Considering little... everything that's in there, it's yeah, mm -hmm. it's not. But I mean, it's not. I'm not saying that in a bad way. I just expected. Sweet. I expected a, a a little bit of sweetness, and it's it, there's a touch there. But I think that's just from the the naturals. It's not like there's yeah. any added. No, no, no. Anything in there? Just that natural fruitiness, and then all that natural fruity sweetness is tamed by the by the walnuts. I think I'm tasting more of the nuttiness, the walnut, yeah, and the rhubarb than I am anything else. I'm getting the it's it's overwhelmingly walnut. The more that I, mm -hmm. the more that you get into it, yeah. Um, the rhubarb is still kind of down. I'm getting this. I'm getting the. I wish I got more a little more of the fig. Yeah. The now ginger. on the nose, I, yeah, the nose is there. With you the had fig. the sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Cardamom, cocoa. I'm not getting much cocoa. Mm -mm. Um, it says pecans too. I'm gonna get a little. Pecan. And see, there's, there's a yeah. lot of nuttiness yeah. happening so in here. This is the a really nutty beer. And you, typically, you see when you, when you run across a nutty beer like a uh, like a Marzen style, it's it's mm -hmm. that roasted, almost like a roasted peanut type deal. But this is this is not that no, type it's different. Of it's it's not that type of nutty at all. This is fairly overwhelming walnut and pecan. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. I mean, I had I had glanced at at the can, obviously, yeah. and I saw the whole paragraph of, this, of the expected things. flavors yeah. here. Um, usually, you know, when you buy something in the grocery store, the ingredients start off with the most prominent things. Yeah. And so I went into it expecting figs, raisins, cherries. I expected all of those to really overpower this, and I'm not getting that. Um, I'm getting some of the... Like I said, the nuttiness from the walnuts and pecans. Um, I, I think I'm getting some of the ginger and the rhubarb. I would like a little more ginger. I would too. Mm -hmm. Just a little, that snap, yeah. you know, but but uh, I'm not getting any of the, the it, cocoa nibs. I would have liked to have some of the, the zing from the ginger because it's a pretty yeah. mellow beer overall. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty mellow. It is. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's just, no. it's not what was expected. It, it's at least not by me. It's almost too much going on. Almost. Mm hmm. Well, this is definitely the type of beer that does grow in the glass because yes. there is so much going on. Yeah. Each sip that you take, you're finding something new, something a little bit different. It marries together with some of the the tastes that you already discovered. It's got the it's got the raisin nose. And it you're, does. It's, you're thinking, you're thinking. Okay, this is going to be kind mm -hmm. of kind of raisiny, a little grapey, mellow grape sweetness, but it is. It's just not. Mm. Okay, so I'm getting a little. After it's kind of washed out a little, you get a little bit more ginger, just a little bit. It's like a tame ginger. Really, and there's a little bit of the, co the uh, cocoa, a little bit. It's there, but I'm trying it's... that, and that's what I'm reaching for. I'm, I'm trying to find something sweet, or even like the dark chocolate bitterness, or it's, something. But... It's it's not dark chocolate bitter, no. and it's not milk chocolate sweetness. Sweet, no. It's it, it, it is just cocoa nibs, just yeah. plain, plain and simple. Yeah, it's interesting. What'd you rate that one? <laughs> I'm gonna go probably about a three. There, 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 there's okay. too much going on. Would I drink it again? Yes. Um, 
would I seek it out? No. I, I give this one probably a three as well right. overall. But if we were rating it based on um, you know effort and qual and craftsmanship and just thought, yeah, it'd probably be something like a four point five. There's oh, so absolutely, much they on. put a lot of effort There's into so it. I just don't think that. that that I'm their target audience for no. this, and I don't think you are either. It's maybe just a mad science experiment. <laughs> it, may, it may be. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it, it, again, it's not bad. It's not bad. We've gone in for seconds, and we'll both finish this. So, yeah, just. A little bit too much going on. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Let's move on to the last one. You already started out? Yeah, started. It's a good blooper I got now. <laughs> That's what we call a palate cleanse, folks. <laughs> All right. Palate cleanse done. There was a lot going on with that one. Um, again, I, I, I agree with you. I think the ginger, if there was more of it. Yeah, just a little ginger, Might have ginger, a little ginger snap. That's yeah. what I did there. Yep, uh, I did. And I actually said it yeah. earlier, I think. So, um, yeah, just a little zing, something. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Anyway, it wasn't bad. No, but I am looking forward to this. The Gonzo. So we, we've had what a uh, what, we've had a six point five, and we've had a six uh, five point four. We we keep going up. Well, this double. I think, I think we added the two of them together because this is eleven point three. That's about right. This is going to be a Willet Bourbon Barrel Aged. Gonzo Imperial Stout by Flying Dog. Yeah. I like all of the words I just said there. Yeah, yeah so. nothing bad there. Nope, and it looks like this is in Latin, so I'm not going to read it. <laughs> Hunter S. Right. Thompson would be proud of this, I think. Mm -hmm. I believe so. I believe so. All right. New bottle opener here. This is yours. So. This is mine. Goes on the fridge. Yep. Okay. Use your error there. All right. Let's see. Let's see what it's about. This is an uh, imperial porter. Yes. And when you get up into the, those uh, high ABVs like that. Mm hmm All right. Very dark in color. Nice head. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could smell the sweetness yes, right off compared to that one. Mm hmm You could smell the bourbon. Right off the top as well. Yeah. This is going to be good. Pretty good carbonation in there. One thing that we didn't really talk about with these two is the is the mouthfeel, how mm -hmm. a little bit thinner they are. They were both thin, yeah. And then I think we one, mentioned it with this and didn't really get into it much with that. Yeah, and this one is... Yeah, there, there's some... There's some viscosity in there. A little bit. It's still, it's thinner than I expected. But again, when I'm thinking Imperial, I'm usually thinking yes. an Imperial Stout. Yeah. And it's, you know. Yeah. The porter's going to be a touch thinner than that. And this is. I've had some that are, that pour like motor oil. Yes. And I love those. Yeah. This is not that. No. This is, a, this has got a bourbon bite to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's got a good bite to it. It's got a good bite to it. It's not roasty. There's not a roast component in there. There is a touch of bitterness. I disagree. I, I am getting some roastiness. You get some roastiness? I think so. I'm not getting much roastiness out of this. I am getting a touch of bitter. Yeah. Well, I think I'm definitely getting some roastiness. Definitely getting that barrel aged. It's there. It's not that funky barrel aged either. It's um, mm -mm. it's a nice it's a nice sweet. It, sm it smells good. Oh. It's a beautiful nose. Pours beautifully. Like I said, it was a um, nice dark pour mm -hmm. with a, a, a light brown head to it. Just, yeah. it was beautiful. Yeah, you can just sit there and smell this one. This is a sipping beer. This, this, is. this is a sipping porter. I think that one also would be a sipping porter just because there's so much going on. Definitely. That one would be more... As the kids say, crushing it. Well, it, you had mentioned in one of our videos... Pound pounding it. it. Yeah, pounding no, I, I it. still yeah. wouldn't pound it, but it's a, it's a Jimmy Buffett pounder sure. somewhere. Sure. But you, I mean, <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this is um, I really enjoy this. Good, good bourbon, good, good bourbon flavor. It's got um, it's got that dark richness, mm. almost molasses in there. 
molasses sweetness. Not necessarily a sweet beer, but there's a there's some sweetness to it. I think I'm getting some vanilla. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm getting a little bit of vanilla out of it. <clears throat> um, I'm getting the roastiness. I don't know how you're not getting that. I really right. don't. Um, doesn't it doesn't have. It, it, it could have, just be registering as bitterness for you, and could it's be. like a roasty bitterness for me. It, I mean, it's fine, but um, definitely getting the bourbon, a little hint of vanilla, and that's probably from the the bourbon agent plus from the, could be, yeah. from the bourbon barrel. And is it a dark chocolate? There's a little bit of dark chocolate in there. Yeah, that's and that, I think that's adding to some of the bitterness. That's in yeah, there. yeah. It's good. It's it. Not what I expected. Again, just like the second one. I like the, um, I've always liked the uh, flying dogs fonts that they yeah. use on this. Yeah. I like that. You gonna read that Latin or no? Not you pass over it like me, right? I don't want to conjure up some demon or something. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> and someone is gonna comment, uh, moron, that's not Latin. And That's fine. Comment. Yeah, it's not English. <laughs> I know that. So I know English good. So you got a paper that says you know. Yeah, good. I do. Me too. Gosh. How would you? Uh, how would you rate this one? I'm gonna throw it back to you. How would you rate it? <clears throat> it's not exactly what I was expecting. Okay. Like I said, um, not horrible, not great. I would drink it again. Wouldn't really seek it out. Three point two five. Okay. Yeah. I gave it a four. Wow, you yeah. really enjoyed that enjoy, more than I, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. Let me see if this grows in my glass at all. Yeah, out of the three, I'm I'm picking that every time. Not just really? because of not just because of the uh, the ABV on it, and not mm -hmm. just because it's you know the Imperial Four style. It's just this is. This is more my style. Too much going on with this. I don't like coconut. I know you don't like coconut, and I'm not a huge fan of coconut, but I prefer this out of out of the three. Interesting. This would be my preference, I think. And it, again, dry dock. To me, they keep hitting doubles, triples, and home runs. I, I I've yet to get a strikeout or yeah. or, or even a, just a single. I'm I'm very pleased with yeah. with what they have to offer. I think this is more drinkable. There's just too much going on. I'm confused. I would I would definitely agree. This one is the most drinkable. There's too much going on with this one. Yeah. Uh, this is you only want one of these. It's yeah, 11, that's 11%. that's too heavy. Yes. It's just too too strong. Too strong. You know what I mean? To, to I, I like sit the down too, I like the too strong, but I only want one. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, if you're going into it and you know that you're just going to have the one drink, one beer. There's nothing wrong with that. That one's fine. If you're at a function and you're going to have a couple of beers, two, three, four drinks, you'd be looking for something, something more along more that lines. Yeah. Again, this is assuming you're at a party where only porters are being served. <laughs> <laughs> so, which would be a party that we would like generally because generally. of porters and stouts. But, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot more roastiness than you are. Yeah. I'm getting some vanilla. I think dark chocolate. It's okay. All right. We learned, we've learned some things today, particularly, particularly that one. It's, uh, yeah, that was a little bit disappointing or confusing. Confusing. More, more confusing than disappointing. Not bad. Just not what I expected. Not what I expected. It's okay, though. We'll try again with something else next time. Absolutely. I'm Mike. I'm Adam. We learned something today. We did learn something today. Please comment, and I'll go ahead and say it. Subscribe, hit that like button, <laughs> share it with your friends. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you said it. I know. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> this is what we call an asshole. <laughs> glad so you can't understand it, so it's good. <laughs> Keep it family friendly. <laughs> <laughs>